Hello everyone. I'm going to title this video, Jesus versus the Freemasons. Yeah, it's a good one. It's going to be a good one. Uh, I was doing some research, uh, again, on Freemasonry, which I've done quite a bit over the past four or five years, I'd say. Uh, we sometimes tend to, those of us who are studying biblical prophecy uh, in these last days, we tend to equate Freemasonry with a modern day issue or a modern day secret society. Well, Ecclesiastes tells us that there's nothing new under the sun, that what has been will be again, that no one can say, look, here's something new. Jesus was dealing with Freemasons or the builders, quote unquote, which they are called as well, even back in his day. Uh, wouldn't you have loved to have been a fly on the wall in this conversation that Jesus had with the builders? In Psalm 118.22, it says, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. But when Jesus was in a conversation uh, with a group of men, um, telling them that he knew that they were plotting to, to throw the, the heir of the kingdom out and take the kingdom themselves, which we know the New World Order is all about, Jesus was calling it back then. He was prophesying back then that he knew that there was a plot to throw him as the heir to all things out and the, uh, the enemy wanted to take the Lord's seat. Now, we all know this, but we tend to think, myself included, uh, years ago, when I, the Lord first started drawing me to look into Freemasonry, that this was a modern-day uh, secret society that was only, um, what, uh, relevant to today's time. But the Lord corrected me, and when he took me to Psalm 118.22, uh, he reminded me that this is what he quoted. And if we go to the New Testament in Luke chapter 20, verse 17, I, you know, I don't know about you, but I would have loved to have been there during that conversation and cheering the Lord on when he, he met them face to face, eye to eye, and called it for what it was. Uh, and he said, uh, Jesus, it says here in Luke chapter 20, verse 17, Jesus looked directly at them and said, the stone the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. Now, these builders are Freemasons. Even back then, uh, Satan was at work, and I think that's why Paul said, uh, even now, the spirit of Antichrist was present. Uh, the spirit of Antichrist is alive and well in Freemasonry, and uh, do not be deceived if you have Freemasons in your church gathering that it's just some big boys club and it's fine and it's godly and whatever you, you know, that, that it's innocent fun. It is not. As a matter of fact, it's very satanic. Uh, do your research online about Freemasonry. Uh, it, you know, definitely you'll find the Lord will direct your search in that. But the Lord was dealing with the builders even back then. Uh, this is nothing new. So I wanted to title this Jesus versus the Freemasons. Not only did he call them out, to their face, and this is one of the reasons why he hated them, because he said everyone who um, hates the light will not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. Hence, secret societies. Everything Jesus said was done out in the open. He preached openly in the temple. He preached openly about his coming kingdom. He never had it held secret. It was no, there is no such thing with the Lord as a secret society. As a matter of fact, we who are born-again Christians and, and love the Lord, we're very open and very bold by the power of His Spirit to tell people that we belong to Him, that your kingdom come, your will be done, Lord. There is no Christian secret societies. Uh, so if you're a part of a secret society, uh, especially Freemasonry, uh, I happen to know a uh, Freemason uh and I have had many discussions with this person, so I happen to know firsthand what they believe and what they stand for, along with the research that the Lord has given me to do over the years. It is evil. It is satanic. Jesus knew about this plot way back then, 2,000 years ago, with the builders. To you know, The Lord would send person after person to try and reach them and implore them. And finally they said, if we can kill the heir who is Jesus, the Son of God, and kick him out, we can take the kingdom for ourselves. When the third temple is built, and I say when, because I believe it will be, when the third temple is built in Jerusalem, uh, this will be the final attempt of Satan through the Vatican, working hand-in-hand -hand with the Jesuits and Freemasonry, to kick the air out, to make war with him who sits on the horse, and take this planet for himself. Well, we know, based on the scriptures, uh, we know based on the scriptures who wins. We know that Jesus has won the victory, that on the cross, he put Freemasonry, the Vatican, every 
fallen angel, every demonic spirit to open shame. He won the victory. Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. But Jesus, he, he called them out straight to their faces, even back then. So Freemasonry was just as much a problem back when the Lord walked the earth as it is today. It is not simply a modern uh, secret society that only pertains to this last day's generation. Uh, wouldn't you have loved to have been there in that conversation? Wouldn't you have loved to have been there and heard him call them out for what it was? Here is God in the flesh telling them, look, I'm exposing you and I'm calling you out for what you are. Like Paul said, expose the deeds of darkness. And that's part of what we're here to do. The Lord said, yes, he sent us here as um, sheep amongst wolves, but we're to be as wise as serpents, but as innocent as doves. So when the Lord is opening your eyes to what's going on in Freemasonry and the New World Order global system, what he's doing is he's keeping you as innocent as a dove, but he's making you as wise as a serpent. So you know what your enemy is up to and you'll know how to stand your ground when you've done all to stand as a good soldier for Jesus Christ. But Jesus and the Freemasons, he called them out even back then because another name for the Freemasons are the builders. So uh, hopefully this will encourage you to, um, to do even more research on Freemasonry. And I can't encourage you enough to be on the lookout for any of that leaking into your church fellowship. Um, I myself have confronted this issue, and I'll leave a lot of the details private, but um, you won't be liked for it, but the, you'll be pleasing the Lord when you confront it. It's evil and it's satanic. But it was going on even back in Jesus' day, and I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Have a great day.